Hamlin State University Sports Television Network. I'm Onaje Morris alongside Damian Swell. And of course, we have to kind of get into this lineup and this team. Grambling State University is going to be facing off against Alabama State University. Both of these teams are great teams right up below each other. Grambling State is 7-2 and, and Alabama State is 6-3. and When it comes to stats, I mean, Grambling State University is a top five team defensively, three when it comes to defense. But offense, they struggle a lot second to last. And that's going to be a tall task for them because the defense that they're going against today is going to be a tough one. Yeah, OJ, Alabama State's defense is number one in everything. It's turnovers, rebounds, everything. And one thing Gremlin wants to do if they're going to be successful in this game is box out and get over on them on and rebounds. Most definitely. Now, to get into the individual players, we're going to hand it over to Jay. She's going to give us the rest. <laughs> back here. Graham State University will be off a tip off and we'll give our starting lineups as well right back here on the Graham State University Sports Television Network. Since 1920, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, SWAC, has been in the forefront in leadership and excellence in all our athletic programs. There are very few major sports halls of fame that a SWAC athlete is not a member. Hall of Fame coaches who were stewards and mentors to these elite athletes. Our tradition, our distinction, our legacy. We are the SWAC, building champions for life. Talking about dropping the ball. I got the score. <laughs> Tostitos Hardy Dippers. And tip off is underway. Grambling State University against Alabama State University. On the floor for Grambling right now, you have Do Dozier, you have Player to, one of the best players on his team, Michael Moten, as the first bucket up, is the first bucket in. That's going to be C.J. Hines for Alabama State University with the first bucket in. Yeah, and this Alabama team, they're just, they're very explosive, OJ, to say the least. Bodies hitting the floor already. To finish off who's on the floor, Jordan Smith with the and one bucket. Starting this game off hot as both teams first bucket up is first bucket in. And Jordan Smith, he's been very, very crucial for this for this Gremlin team. Very he got very big this game, especially in the last game against Jackson State. Oh, most definitely. I mean, it, he's one of those potential game changers at all times. And I think this team has various amount of them. Jordan Smith, Dozier, yeah. Tremichael Moden, uh, a couple of guys that's on the floor. Of course, let me finish off. Tremichael Moden, Jordan Smith, Dozier, uh, Jonathan Aku, and Burnett is all on the floor for Grambling State University for Arizona, uh, Alabama State University. Yeah. C.J. Hines, you have Ugon Oku, as that would be him on the foul. That's Ubon Oku. I think we might have, might have a, uh, uh, actually, I'm hearing Mr. Black saying it's Okan, so excuse me. It's mm -hmm. Ubon Okan on the floor. TJ Madlock, the star player of the team, highest scoring player on the team. Also, his father is the head coach of Alabama State University. Number five, Kendall Parker. And last but not least, Micah Octave, number 11 for Alabama State, is all on the floor as Grandma State University is wearing their specialized jerseys. The shot is up, but it's going to be a block by Okun. Shot up by Tremichael Moe, no good. And we have a wedgie. <laughs> and OJ, to say the least, 
TJ Madlock, he's, he has 341 points throughout the season, and he's averaged 15.5. Yeah. He's, he's their leading scorer. He's their guy. Oh, he's their leading dog for sure. I mean, coming in, uh, Madlock, Coach Madlock, second season, Tony Madlock to TJ, he's, he's made sure that his son is be the star, and he is, as TJ Madlock with the tough bucket. And he is well-deserved of the spot. It's not because of his father or anything. Oh, yeah. He's just a bucket getter, as you can see there. Two points for them. Oh, yeah. Two points for Alabama State and one-point lead for Alabama State. Yeah. And one thing about this Alabama State team is that they're, they're just big. They got a seven-foot-one guy. He, you know, he... I don't even think he has to jump to even get oh, a rebound. Mostly. No, when it comes to uh, Ocon, I mean, he is, as you can see, his size is very overwhelming as Dozier lost the ball there, travel out of bounds. And that will give Alabama State back the ball. And Alabama State is no team that is a pushover right mm -hmm. now when it comes to the top three. It's a tie for number one, Southern and Grambling. And then right up under them is the team who we're playing today, Alabama State, shot up by T.J. Madlock. Yeah. T.J. Madlock, the junior. Another bucket for him, four-point lead for uh, Alabama State University. And they're off hot. Now, one thing you don't want T.J. Madlock to do is get on fire early. Because once he gets on fire early, it's, it's a wrap. Oh, yeah, it'll maintain as Michael Moten tries to catch a little blaze himself. The mid-range shot would not go in. And talking about him, he was the MVP of the Legacy Bowl yeah. Classic on TNT not too long ago when they played against Jackson State University. And then Hampton went on to play was Howard, I believe. Yes. Yeah, Hampton played Howard in the TNT Classic. He had dropped 19 points in that game, becoming the first Legacy Bowl Classic MVP for Grambling State University. Block by Jordan Smith going the other way, Burnett. And both Jermichael Moten and Dozier, they're both the leading scorers for this Grambling basketball team. So it's important for Grambling to get them involved as early as possible. As Aku tries it and no two opportunities, no avail. Alabama State University is going to be taking it the other way. Shot up, no good. Jordan Smith with the rebound. Going the other way, Jermichael Moten. Jermichael Moten finds Dozier. Dozier in the paint, puts it up. Dozier with a reverse lay. And I like how, how comfortable and confident Dozier is when he puts those shots up, especially those lays. He's not the biggest guy in the world. So hey. for him to do that is just, it's incredible. He is really not a, a big guy, but when you look in the shoulder department, he looks like Dwight Howard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he got some size on him. He got some size for a little dude. He reminds me of a, a, the, the comparison as we have a travel there, our comparison, our NBA comparison of him was a high-flying Kyle Lowry. <laughs> if you, you can say Kyle Lowry, I'll, I'll go as far to say Nate Robinson. Oh, okay, okay. They're a little bit smaller. As We'll be right back here on the Grandma State University Sports Television Network. <laughs> is said to change its entire location in pursuit of sunlight. Where could reinvention take your business? Accenture, let there be change. Where could reinvention take your business? Accenture, let there be change. From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we're ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Get a shake with your points and some fries on the side with your points. You get more with every order. Woo! Like your favorite water burger or whatever, cause it all gives you more. What a burger rewards. This portion of the game is brought to you by Origin Bank. 
expanding your possibilities with flexible banking solutions. Whataburger, we build a better burger. Right back here, Graham State University Sports Television Network. I'm Onaj Morris alongside Damian Swell. And we are right back in here. It's only a two point deficit between the two, but they are off to a hot start as Jalen Johnson is now in for Grambling State University. Shot up to Dozier. He lets it rattle around the rim, but it will find its way to the bottom of the bucket for three. And Dozier, he, he's versatile with it. Like He can shoot, he can go in the paint, he, he can do a lot of stuff. It's very impressive. Most definitely. I mean, he's a he's a kind of a guy that can really do it all in every aspect, and he's a guy that you really need as a spark plug on the team. Yeah. Dribble drive, a tough dribble drive by Parker. No good, but the bucket will be in off the putback. And, OJ, that's what I'm saying. Alabama State, they're not just looking around for the ball to just bounce around the rim and it to come to them. They're going to go get the ball. So I think Grambling, they're making the mistake of watching the ball bounce around in the rim, and it's going to cost them every time. Another three, another one for Rozier, back to back. How do you do as he is now putting Grambling State University to a two-point lead? 14 minutes, 13 seconds left to go. Alabama State, is, they're tossing that rock around, getting, getting it to everybody. Good ball movement for sure. As Jalen Johnson. That was nasty. Denied, sent it back like a bad check. <laughs> that was nasty. Burnett has he dribble drive. Bucket is all his, and that's what you call defense turning into offense. Oh, yeah. As they were able to get the two points there. Jalen Johnson with the block, and Jalen Johnson is used to this matchup because Jalen Johnson is a transfer over from Alabama A&M, the mm. team that we will be facing Monday. So he's very familiar with this Alabama State team. The dribble drive by Parker, and it's going to be a turnover. It's from Michael Moten with the steal. Jordan Smith to Burnett. Burnett jab steps, kicks it back out, and they're going to slow it down. Dozier thought about it. Almost double dribble, but he's going to get the bounce off. Burton spins, kicks to Jordan Smith, high fly layup, and he's going to get the bucket. Yeah. And one bucket, who are you, is what he's asking as he gets the bucket in and and one opportunity for one more. And these boys are getting big all around the, all around the court. Offense, defense, it don't matter. You know, so this, this is beautiful. This is a great work. You definitely want a, a team like this that is all about defense. You definitely want to suck them into – having problems as far as foul trouble. So this is what they've been doing so far. Michael Moden is going to take him a seat, checking in the game for him, which we haven't seen too much this season is Michael Stevenson. I like his play, though. Reminds me of a Jordan Clarkson. Now, honestly, looks like one as well. Right. In checking in for the game, we're going to have for Alabama State University is going to be Sean Smith. They got a lot of new faces. Sean Smith, Josh Steven Walker, of course, TJ Madlock's out there, mid-range shot, no good by him. Jordan Smith with the rebound, going the other way. Stevenson to Burnett, Burnett, three-pointer, no good. Fights over the rebound, two Alabama State players, but they'll get it instead. Darrell Reed with the rebound, and Smith taking it up. And one thing I'd say about Grandma State, with Jalen Johnson, he's very mean, and I, that's the type of player I like. You know, He's gonna go fight for it. He's not gonna just go look around and wait for the ball to come to him. He's gonna go, he's gonna go give you some elbows to get that ball. And most definitely. I mean, when I seen him transfer over for Alabama State, it was a great surprise as the block shot of Burnett. But they get the offensive rebound. Jalen Johnson is able to save the ball. Kicks out Jordan Smith. Stevenson with a shot and is no good. It looked like over the back. Oh, it's gonna be an over the back foul there by Jalen Johnson. And Jalen Johnson, like I said before, it was a surprise to me when I saw him transfer over mm -hmm. as we're going to have Burnett come out and we're going to have Terrence Lewis come in. It, it, it was a surprising to me because when we played against Alabama a and especially last year, he was the guy that was giving us problems. You would have thought that he stayed put. Yeah. But Gremlin was the perfect place for him to come. As you can see, as he's making an instant impact as we'll have – 24, Isaiah Range, shot up. Walker 
No good. Going the other way, Graham State University. And that was just great defense from Gramlin State from them to just force them to make a shot, you know? That's what you want to see every time. Three-pointer by Lewis. Corner three. He's not in timeout, though, as he got three points to drop. 19 to 9 is the score. As Gramlin State University with a commanded 10-point lead over the best defensive team in the SWAC so far. Rebound by Dozier. And this Gremlin team looks like they've been working on their shots. They've been working on their field goals, and I, I like to see it. Spin move! Spin move by Jordan Smith. Everybody, come get your laundry done as the spin cycle is on continuous loop here at Gremlin State University. They have a timeout on the floor. We're going to take a timeout right here on Gremlin State University Sports Television Network. <laughs> Louisiana National Bank is a proud community partner and loyal supporter of local education. LNB is excited to cheer on the Grambling State Tigers. Stop into Louisiana National Bank today to experience uncommon banking. To learn more, visit ln.bank. Finally, another wide receiver in the house, my man. So, you ready to learn how the Heismans do it? Can't wait. Once at eight, then again at six. Did one of you gentlemen use Nissan at home to order 40 Pathfinders? Baker said it's another Heisman thing. I didn't think you'd believe me. Here are your keys, sir. What are you guys doing? Learning that HBCUs are not only about networking, there's also secret handshakes. That's cap. HBCUs do not have secret handshakes, right? You mean this secret handshake? Cool. Wow. These guys are almost Cricket 5G fast. We're kidding. There's no such thing as a secret handshake. Or is there? Whoa. That's how you do it. I'm Jayden Newton with the Frederick C. Douglas Hobby Center. And right now we're taking out Alabama State. We're looking for two key players tonight. T.J. Madlock, whose father is the head coach of the team. He's also their leading scorer, 15.5 points per game. And we're also paying attention to one of our key players at Gremlin State University, Jamichael Moden, which was the MVP for the Legacy Bowl. He scored 19 points. Back to you, O.J. Bucky good for Gramlin State University. New faces on the floor for Gramlin State University. You're gonna have Zavad Mumford check in the game. And like I said, OJ, you can tell who's been doing their, their research or you can tell who's been watching more film just by off the, the score and how they've been playing on the defense side of the ball, just, just like now. As Stevenson, Mid-range shot, no good. It's gonna be to Noah Vale. Smith. That's Smith is, I mean, That's just defense. snifling defense. As you can see, Jalen Johnson, yeah. As he won't let go of it. Like I said, Jalen Johnson got a huge, a lot of history with the both of these guys. Oh yeah. As he's played them quite often. He's my type of player to just got that mean streak in him, you know? Like, mean spirited guy. He's not gonna share his last slice of cake. <laughs> Stevenson. Jalen Johnson gets it stripped away by Knox. Knox taking it the other way. 
and he's going to put it too little, sliding up down by 12. Can't take no no plays off. No plays off. Is he was just creeping there behind Jalen Johnson. Saw that coming. Jalen Johnson's going to have the hard matchup here as he's going to have the 7-1 player Ocon on him. Stevenson, top of the key. It's a high for dribble drives. Looks. Double team. Going to kick out. Corner three. Corner three is good. Pure from three-point land. Another three-pointer for Grandma State University. Now a 15-point lead. And Goodness gracious. That was just that was just way to stay calm and composed. The, the play looked like it was about to be over with until Mufford tossed it to Lewis and Lewis did what he had to do. Three-pointer no good. No shock here. Rebound by Ocon. Jalen Johnson with the rebound. And I mean, this lead that Grandma State University is on, two hands on the cheeks, mouth open, home alone, surprised. Oh yeah. As a high Mumford layup, no good. Offensive rebound, corner three, second opportunity, no good. Another chance for Grandma State University, another offensive rebound, another corner three, and no good. Three opportunities there for Grandma State University. It's going to go 0 for 3 on each opportunity. Now a three-pointer for Alabama State, no good. Another rebound by Ocon as Jalen Johnson is going to intentionally foul and ask for one, come out. Jalen Johnson gave me a little bit of Russell Westbrook there, keeping that play alive. I'm oh, looking. yeah. That was that was really good. When it comes to rebounding, they're not the best team. Alabama State is number one. Yeah. But so far in this game, you will be conflicted on who's number one or not. Yeah, that, that's the surprising part. I think they knew that Alabama State, rebounding-wise, is just better. So what they wanted to do, get on top of it now. Obvious uh, traveling violation by C.J. Hines Jr. there. As we have some new faces that checked in on the court for Grandma State of Mer uh, University, Jermichael Moten is back in, those years back in. Burnett and Jonathan Aku are all back in the game so far. Only person that did not check out was Lewis, Terrence Lewis, number 24. As Burnett, our small four, but he can handle it like a guard. The hands it to Dozier, Dozier. Back to the bucket, turn around, fadeaway shot, no good. As Tremichael Moten with the steal gets back behind the three-point line. Burnett trying to show them moves. I'm telling you, he can dribble with the best of them as Lewis get a shot up, and it's no good. Ocon with the rebound, taking it the other way. Burnett wanted to put somebody on his highlight tape. Three-pointer up, no good by Knox. Going the other way, Tremichael Moten. Michael Moon takes the screen. No switch. Burnett has those here. Lewis calls for the screen. No, he calls to Aku. Aku gets it in the post. Aku ah. stepped out of bounds right on the baseline. You got to have some type of awareness. Yeah, especially when you wear a size 17 shoe, Bernard. <laughs> you got to make sure that foot is in bounds. Yeah. As we're going to have a break here, we'll be right back here on the Grand State University Sports Television Network. Best tailgate, brisket. No, real football. Y pollo asado. Poops and wings, dude. Subs. Hot dogs. Chili dog. No, Dodger dog. It's got to be crawfish. Now you talk burgers. Seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Um, what? You need a hot grill and an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke, come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day. Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. Grab yourself a Coke. It's tailgate 101. Cats down by 58 with one minute left. Hey, where's everybody going? This game's not over, so we're not the best. Our kicker stubbed his toe on the ball, and pretty sure our mascot has this costume on backwards. But this, this is our team. No matter what. What are you guys doing? Learning that HBCUs are not only about networking, there's also secret handshakes. That's cap. HBCUs do not have secret handshakes, right? You mean this secret handshake? 
Cool. Wow, these guys are almost Cricket 5G fast. We're kidding. There's no such thing as a secret handshake. Or is there? Whoa, that's how you do it. This portion of the game is brought to you by Louisiana Lottery. Celebrate with the crew. Coca-Cola, the official soft drink beverage of Gramlin State University. As we're back here, seven minutes, 43 seconds left in your very first half here. Gramlin State University is up by 15 points, a demanding 15 points over a great defensive team, 26 to 11 and they have been getting it in every fashion and one of the main ways is three pointers specifically the corner threes as oh he almost had a a runaway fast break off of the steal there but that's going to be called a foul and dante jackson you don't see him smiling over there oh yeah these boys came to prove a point oj like they came to play in every aspect of the game we call basketball Almost definitely. Seventh season here, and he couldn't be more happier. Last year, being coach of the year, he had two coaches of the year as well. And last year brought us to the most wins we've had in 43 years. As it's still there by Alabama State going other way. Fast break. Shot up by Hines. Layup is good. Two points tacked on for Alabama State University. And that is what they're known for, translating defense into offense. And when you're grambling, you make mistakes like that. You just got to get back on defense. You can't think about it. You got to be a sponge. Shot up by Burnett. Three-pointer no good. Aku tries to tip it out. Does not get the rebound. Alabama State going the other way. Shot up. Three-pointer, no good. And I seem to miss a new face for Gramlin State University, Jamel Carter. I mean, excuse me, Jamel Kofer has checked into the game as Jonathan Aku is going to be called with the foul. Pushing off very hard on uh, Daryl Reed. He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna have a little stop and talk to him, let him know, hey, cool it out. That's the game of the sweat. That's know. a good ref. That's a good ref. A lot of refs is not going to give you a warning to let you know, all right, cool it yeah. out. They're just going to give you a tech yeah. or whatever the case may be off rip. So we have Tremichael Moan, Jonathan Aku, fake screen. Hands it off, Dozier, screen. Dozier with the spin cycle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a laundry mat in here. It's another spin layup. Dozier gets the bucket in, a tough bucket. And now 10 points already on the night for him. Dozier got to chill. People, <laughs> parents in the stands. People, okay. parents, I mean, geez. The cameramen still are human beings. They can't get dizzy right. trying to keep up with them. Spin cycles all day. It's TJ Madlock takes the screen. Hezzy layup, tough layup is a go, and that is TJ Madlock. He gets tough buckets all day, every day. TJ Madlock is very competitive. He's he he wants to play, you know, and he's gonna he, he gonna show out. He's gonna get back. He's gonna get big, you know. The guy, he's he's a dynamic player as well. Yeah, one of their leading players last year, a lot of times, a lot of people are trying to give him heat for his father being the coach. Yeah. But he has earned this, this position in every way. If you ask me, if he goes to any SWAC team, he's liable to be a starter for yeah. any team. He's a great guard. He can even play the three position. I mean, TJ Madlock is one of those guys that you can kind of put anywhere and he'll get buckets any way that he can. Yeah, there's no nepotism on that team. Oh, no, oh, and not at all. <laughs> as we'll have Burnett at the free throw line for two. No good by Burnett. Clanks the front of the rim. When it comes to free throws, this team hasn't really been the best of the best. Yeah. They have struggled a lot so far free throw shooting. They're six in the SWAC, 71%. They have brought that up a lot since five games ago where they were 10th in the SWAC, lower than Florida A&M. They have brought themselves up to the sixth spot yeah. as the next free throw for Burnett had dropped. 29-15, almost a 15-point lead for Gramlin as that three-pointer is no good by range. And, range. And as to mention, OJ, I forgot to mention that Alabama State, they're number four in they're number four in turnovers. So it's like you gotta be careful, like I said earlier. Take your time and no no plays off. 
Ooh, my goodness. Tremichael Moten almost had him stumbling into the ground, but could not get the bucket in. TJ Madlock with the stop mid-range pop as his father, Tony Madlock, is looking for a foul. Tight defense, but no foul there called. Jalen Johnson hands off to Dozier. Burnett to Tremichael Moten. Tremichael Moten with the layup. Easy take as the paint was a vacancy. Two points for Grambling State University and two points for Jermichael Moten. Jermichael Moten looked like a tank when he going up in the air. Yeah. First two points for him of the game. Madlock to range. Madlock, Burnett in front of him. Madlock trying to make something go. Madlock, mid-range dead eye. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Another mid-range shot and make for him. And this is a, another game where we're seeing mid a mid-range master class in this one. Jordan Smith with the hard take as he saw the lane open up, but will be fouled in the process. Go to the free throw line for two. You can also tell that Madlock, that's that's just where he's comfortable and that's where he likes to shoot from is the mid-range. Yeah. So that that's just like his that's like one of his tricks, one of his swords. He's a DeMar DeRozan type of guy. Yeah. Mid-range is the shot that he's looking for. I mean, when it comes to mid-range shooters, I, that's kind of one of my, used to be my favorite kind of basketball player. So I could name yeah. every mid-range shooter or good one there is right. down the list as the first free throw does not drop. I have a madness for mid-range. Right. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think it's the coolest thing ever. Right. I was more of a, I thought I could dunk, so I thought I was Russ. So ah, I was going to go for guys it. Guys that time. dunk to me is, yeah, that's cool. You can jump high, <laughs> you know. But that mid-range, you got to have a, a oh, certain yeah. touch. You got to have a beauty to it as those free throws does not drop. Oh, yeah. As range with the nice jab, stop and shot. No good. That stop and shot, no good for Alabama State University. And Tony Madlock going to take a timeout. He's going to get his groups together, get his guys together. We will be right back here on the Grand State University Sports Television Network. <laughs> is said to change its entire location in pursuit of sunlight. Where could reinvention take your business? Accenture, let there be change. You want to be like the greats? First, believe you are. Greatness requires drip, not like that, like this. The greats aren't afraid to fail. They're fueled by it. Trophies require greatness, but greatness doesn't require trophies. Because greatness isn't about what you've done, it's about what you do next. Finally, another wide receiver in the house, my man. So, you ready to learn how the Heismans do it? Can't wait. Once at eight, then again at six. Did one of you gentlemen use Nissan at home to order 40 Pathfinders? Baker said it's another Heisman thing. I didn't think you'd believe me. Here are your keys, sir. Back here on the Grandma State University Sports Television Network, this section is brought to you by Rocket Mortgage, push button, get mortgage, providing affordable mortgages and award-winning client service for more than 30 years. Nissan, proud sponsor of Collegiate Athletics. We're right back here. Alabama State University has possession. 31-17 is your score, three minutes and 40 seconds removed until we're at halftime. Three-pointer by C.J. Hines Jr. as pure. And C.J. Hines, he's another go-to for this Alabama team with those three-pointers. So it's almost like, I would say, Splash Brothers. When it comes to Gremlin's team, though, they have the perfect amount of guards to match up 
with Hines and Madlock as Trump. Michael Molden with the tough layup will get the bucket in for two. Graham State University, 13 point lead. First half has been all theirs. And Alabama State, it's not like, you know, they're out of it completely. They, they're playing like they want to win and they want to get back into this game. They're a team that could very much still win and get back into this game as C.J. Hines Jr. tries to get the layup in, couldn't get it in, and it runs out. Jordan Smith going fast the other way will be a charge violation. That was a good, that was a smart move from Alabama State. Very smart move. T.J. Madlock there with the charge foul. Smart call. Yeah, I mean, as much as you want to debate that as a grandma fan, I, I feel like that's the right that was, call. Yeah, that was the right call. From the refs as well. You'll see Dante Jackson arguing it down, but hey, if you ask me, that mm -hmm. I mean that that one is a it's a tough it's tough calls when it comes to anything like that. But in that yeah. situation, you know it's team pride. That's yeah, it. it's team pride. You gotta you gotta stand up for yours. It's Alabama State has the TJ Madlock. Madlock thinks about it, hands it off. Hines, Hines to Reed, Reed Good defense to Walker, but it's stolen, going the other way. Had a fast break opportunity, but Burnett's going to slow it down, take his time. Tremichael Moten as well, screen coming from Jalen Johnson. He takes it. Tremichael Moten now with the double team. Jordan Smith, three-pointer, bounces around. It's going to be no good. Hines going the other way to Isaiah Range. Range, three-pointer, no good. Ball travel out of bounds. Grandma State University will regain possession. That was a big, <laughs> big pace, fast, everything from that, from that play. I think with Grandma State, slow it down a little bit, just a little bit. You have the lead. Slow it down and control the game. How you want it to go, it's going to how, how you want it to go at the end of the day. Most definitely, as this team is definitely is a built team, as most of this team is tr transfers. Yeah. Madlock, Tony Madlock, and TJ Madlock both came over from South Carolina State. Okay. Jalen Johnson, the hard take, couldn't get the bucket in. Rebound, TJ Madlock going the other way. Fast break opportunity, 2 3. Euro step and a nice take from TJ Madlock is not a layup that he sees that he does not like. That when was, he's within 15 feet, he's a go. That was a beautiful lay from the other side. Now, see, OJ, I'm a football player. That's something I couldn't do. I'm not, I'm athletic, oh, but yeah. I can't do that. That hand-eye co coordination in that fast break situation, Dave, a lot of people don't understand, that takes tremendous amount of focus yeah. to be able to do that. And the Euro step in the layup, Zaha Mumford takes it up tough. He's gonna be fouled by Daryl Reed in that situation when you're taking it up that tough, it's either going to be a foul or it's going to be a, a hard fall. Yeah. In that case, it was, luckily it was going to be a foul as Dante Jackson looks like he's going to send out a substitution. Jordan Smith at the check-in table. Also at the check-in table is going to be Sean Smith, but they take him out. So I'm up for first free throw. No good. <laughs> Have to take your time with those free throws. When, like you said, OJ earlier, we're not the best free throw wise. Take your time with it, you know, and just work on it. That's it. Anytime you're not good at any type of shooting, any percentages that's low, you if you're gonna take shots, you have to realize that they either have to be a good shot or you just gotta take your time yeah. and not rush things. As both free throws for Grambling State University is not there. Wide open almost. And the steal, Zaha Mumford going the other way, looking to make up for it. Euros, gallops and does not get the layup in. Going the other way, C.J. Hines. Tough lay, not gonna get the bucket, but will be fouled by Tremichael Moten and sit to the free throw line for two. You gotta finish if you're Moten. I'm not Moten, sorry. If you're Mumford, you gotta finish. Yeah, Zaha Mumford is obviously frustrated with himself, missed those two free throws and smoked. Just straight cigarette camelback smoked the layup. <laughs> uh, 
Alabama State has to box out. C.J. Hines now bring this game into a single deficit, single point deficit. Excuse me, single digit deficit. Nine point lead, Grandma State University has. 22 seconds left. Jermichael Molden has nothing but time. Stevenson, Smith, Jordan Smith back to Stevenson. Stevenson, they're trying to figure out what to do with it. Alabama AM playing good defense. Jermichael Molden jacks up a three. Holy smokes, and he makes it. Jermichael Molden, he knew what to do with it. As the buzzer beater shot by CJ is no good. And now, going into half, your score is 36-24, a 12-point lead for Gramlin State University. And we're going to have a sideline report. We're going to send it over to JS. She's going to have Coach. So, Coach, what, do you, what advice would you give your team to maintain the league for the game? Uh, we got to keep playing with a lot more, with, with our energy up. We play, had a great job of uh, playing with great energy. We did a great job of rebounding. But on the other end, we got to do a better job of offense, uh, moving the ball and attacking the gaps and trying to get easy layups. Right now, uh, you know, I like, I like where we are. I'm excited to watch them do that. Thank you again, Coach. Thank you. All right, we're going to have a time in the Attention all Medicaid beneficiaries. You can now qualify for free cell phone service with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data. You heard that right. You can now get your cell phone service and high-speed data absolutely free from a government program called the Affordable Connectivity Program. Just call 800-211-7670 right now to see if you instantly qualify. All callers can qualify based on your income or if you receive assistance from federal public housing, a Pell Grant, SSI, or even free or reduced price school lunch programs. If you or someone in your household is enrolled in Medicaid or any other government assistance programs, you can now instantly qualify to get free cellular service and high-speed data. Plus, keep your phone number with your new free service. Even if you're paying for your plans now with another carrier, you can switch to a free talk, text, and data plan if you qualify. Just call 800-211-7670 to qualify instantly for your free talk, text, and data service. Plus, even get free high-speed internet service. This free program is open and available, so call now. Call 800-211-7670, 800-211-7670.